Hey everybody, and welcome back. Uh, I just have a quick preview I want to show you. Neo over at War Colors sent me some of his uh, new paints that are in the works, and right now he's calling them his base paints. And if you use the Citadel range of paints, you'll kind of know what that means. But for those of you, of you that don't, or just need further elucidation, elucidation, illumination, uh, these are pigment dense paints. Um, so I've been using war colors for a while. For those of you who've been watching the channel for a long time, you know this because I talk about them all the time. Uh, and you also probably know at that point that the, my one complaint about them is that they are not very, they don't cover com particularly well. So I'll tend to use other colors as, as the base coat and then war colors for just about everything else. Well, this so solves that problem. And I'm just gonna show you real quick. Now these are pigment dense paints meant to be able to cover really well. And I have found that to be very true. Um, unlike the other war colors paints, you, they do require shaking before using them. So, that is the current test purple base. So one of the things I really like about these over the, um, over the Citadel base line is that these are very thin. They flow very smoothly. Here, let's just do one quick pass. Um, the downside to using these is that you really gotta work to get them out of your brush because <laughs> the pigment really sticks around. And this is the blue. I think this is my favorite of the colors. It's, this is a super, super vibrant blue. And I'll show you the golden yellow. Yellow is, you know, usually particularly tough cover color to get to cover well I'm not trying to give it multiple coats right here. Um, I'm just trying to make sure that it it's covering smoothly. And actually, if anything, I'm, I'm thinning out the coat just so that I'm not putting too much paint on there. I got one more color here, might as well use it. And this is the turquoise. All right, I'm gonna quick dry these with the hair dryer so you can have a look. Take a look. You can see there's, it doesn't seem to be a great deal of difference in the color as it passes from black to white or white to black. Uh, with the um, purple and golden yellow, it obviously is going to need a couple of passes to get complete full vibrant coverage, but on the turquoise and the blue, that doesn't really seem to be the case. 
But not, you know, the really nice thing about these, in my opinion, it, it, aside from the the great coverage, is the fact that uh, because of how thin they are, I don't feel like I need to thin these at all. They lay down really smoothly. I find the um, the GW paints to be a little bit on the thick side. You always want to thin those. Um, and because of their consistency, these drop right into the airbrush without any need for any thinning whatsoever. And so they spray beautifully out of the airbrush. So that's it. That's all I wanted to show you. I was so excited about these. I wanted to, I wanted to share right away. Um, I hope Neo doesn't mind. <laughs> anyway, there's a link in the description for War Colors. These are not available yet. This, that's why this is a sneak peek and not a review, because uh, these are also not necessarily final products. But I am excited, and I hope you'll like them when they come out. I'm The plan right now, uh, as far as I know, is to have one of these opaque colors for each line of paint. So one for green, one for emerald, one for blue, one for gray. Uh, you know, so there's there's going to be a wide variety of these opaque colors. But that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you all later. Bye.